It's post time for the first of two divisions of the Fashion Farms. Grand Circuit Action, three-year-old trotting filly, sponsored by Arlene and Jewel Siegel. A full gate of nine lined up and heading toward the start. And they're off, and Jules Galore is fast off the wings for Charlie Norris being sent hard for the front. Mystical Norma trots out well, racing in second. Stroke play is third. Sunday Yankee between horses. Malabar Malfemina went off stride in the opening turn. Up front, K is racing fifth in the early stages. Sixth is Frisky Fergie, followed up seventh by Alex Hall. Under my thumb is eighth, and Malabar Malfemina is still off stride and trails the field. They move toward the quarter, and Sunday Yankee eases her way to the lead, clearing Jules Galore as they hit the front panel in 29 and 3. Mystical Norma in behind the top pair third. Stroke play is following along in fourth. Up front K is two lengths from her fifth. Frisky Fergie sixth and into the bit. Alex Hall is tipped out and underway on the outside. Racing an eighth is under my thumb who will follow that cover and far behind Malabar Malfemina after the lengthy break who trails the field and on the move is up front K and she's looking to get stroke play committed to the outside and Brian Sears comes first over with stroke play after Sunday Yankee as they reach the half 58 and three so a well half mile split for Sunday Yankee and stroke play is right on her wheel now pressing for the lead. Jules Galore set in and she's locked in on the inside from third. Up front K getting carried into a striking spot. She is well positioned second over with three eights to go. Mystical Norma is shuffled back on the inside. Alex Hall is third over. Fourth over is under my thumb but she's only about five lengths from the lead and Frisky Fergie is eighth on the inside as stroke play tries to get past Sunday Yankee. Three quarters in one 27 and four and they come to the top of the stretch. Sunday Yankee still has the advantage on the inside. Stroke play trying to sustain her lengthy rally on the outside second. Jules Galore is angling out in third, but dead game is Sunday Yankee. Stroke play trying to surge on the outside. Sunday Yankee fighting her off so far. One last chance from stroke play under heavy urging, but it's Sunday Yankee, and Sunday Yankee guts it out to win it. Stroke play a neck back in second. Jules Galore third. Frisky Fergie fourth in one fifty-five and one to take the first division of the fashion farm she's a muscles yankee three-year-old filly out of spiffy yankee by juan de v on by the valley high stable of freehold new jersey paul kelly the trainer and luke willette in the sulky sunday yankee has been so close so often against top level stakes company this is her second win of the year, and it's a big one in this division of the Fashion Farm in a career best of 155 and 15th. Trainer Paul Kelly has come a long way from the days when he raced trotting bred ponies in upstate New York. He's a top percentage trainer, and he has Sunday Yankee in the winner's circle here at Lexington. This race sponsored by Arlene and Jewel Siegel's Fashion Farm, the home of top pacing stallion Real Artist, also Tagliabue and the exciting two-year-old champion from a year ago, Broadway Hall. Real Artist having another great year with what an artist and the sensational two-year-old pacing filly, Kiki Katie. So we thank the Seagulls and the Fashion Farms for their sponsorship of the Bluegrass three-year-old filly trot. In the winner's circle to make trophy presentation, the co-racing secretary here at the Red Mile and a man who has been instrumental in the resurgence of the Red Mile since 2000, that's Nick Salvi, who's making trophy presentation. He was involved in television and simulcasting and is now settled into the racing office where he does an excellent job. And Nick Salvi makes the Fashion Farms trophy presentation on behalf of Arlene and Jewel Siegel. Results official, number five, Sunday Yankee, 460, 280, and 260.